say, hey guys, we need to think about kinesis. And no one will know what you're talking about, but that's okay, because you'll sound very intelligent. Has anybody seen my I once did a talk in San Francisco, and at the very end of my talk, the fire alarm went off, and everybody ran out of the room. But now I know that for sure, Ruby is my Java cure. Has anybody seen my code? It was born in the mountains of a far and distant land, bringing hope to a world lost and drear. Created as a promise to coders far and wide, who felt that joy was never Nascence is actually a real world, it real word. It means born together. In this software world, we tend to think about it as changing together. Born together and changing together. So the change is happening. It came to us in secret, but it didn't stay that way. Spreading fast, it came to every home. Ruby a righteous coding high I've seen it make a Java guru cry you can make an object and change it on the fly Ruby coding high there are some very important safety announcements I need to make first first of all this is not how to catch a flying robot I devise and yaml. Ruby coding high, mocha and JSON. It started as a simple way to go. Okay, so another little aside here, I want to talk a little bit about terminology. Um, people often talk about these things as drones. I actually dislike that terminology because it brings this in mind. So I try not to use the word drone, especially when I'm talking to the general public. Um, because I say, I don't know how I'm going to play with my drone today. And they go, oh my gosh, who are you going to shoot? Them? And I'm like, no, no, no. We are talking about flying robots. I've seen it make a PHP or side. You can make a web request. Wait for its reply. Ruby coding high. Rails in our spec. Ruby coding high. Active record. Ruby coding high. Capistrano. Rocky Mountain Ruby. Colorado. Assembler in my second year of school. It's kind of like construction work with a toothpick for a tool. But when I reached my senior year, I threw my code away. And I learned a way to program that I still prefer today. Now, some folks on the internet put their faith in C++. They say that it's so powerful, it's what God used for us. And maybe it lets mortals dredge their objects from the sea. But I think that explains why only God 
can make a tree. For God wrote in Lisp code every creed when he filled the leaves with green. The fractal flowers and recursive roots, the most lovely hack I've seen. And when I ponder snowflakes, never finding two the same, I know God likes a language with its own four letter name. Now I've used the sun under Unix, so I've seen what C can hold. I've surfed for pearls, no what, for trans four, got that Java stuff down cold. But the chances I'd write COBOL code is a snowball's chance in hell. And I basically hate hieroglyphs, so I won't use APL. Now God knows all these languages and a few I have not named. But the Lord made sure when a sparrow falls that its flesh will be reclaimed. And the Lord could not count grains of sand with a 32-bit word. I wonder where we'd go to if Lisp weren't what he preferred. For God wrote in Lisp code every creature great and small. Don't search the disk drive for man.c when the listing is on the wall. And when I see the lightning strike unbelievers to a crisp, I know God had six days to work. So he wrote it all in Lisp. God had a deadline, so he wrote it all in Lisp. Thank you.